Hi, this is Nat with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PHP to PDF, which is available for free at php2pdf.com. PHP to PDF makes it incredibly easy to create PDF files from web pages using PHP. First, I'll show you how it works. Then I'll show you how to get it. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is my PDFs folder. Notice that it is empty. Now I'll go to the browser and magically create some PDFs. Here we are in the browser. You can see this page has two links. One to a page that creates a PDF from HTML code and the other to a page that creates a PDF from a page at a specific URL. First I'll click the first link. And you can see I get a link that says download your PDF. Under the link I put the HTML in a text area just to show it to you. You normally wouldn't do this but I want you to have an idea of what the HTML would look like. You can see that the HTML page is an outline for a PHP course. It has a heading 1 with a course title, a heading 2 followed by a class overview, another heading 2 followed by an unordered list of class goals, and finally another heading 2 followed by a multi-level ordered list showing the class outline. Before we click the link, I want to show you that I've also included some CSS rules. Heading 1's will be dark blue, Heading 2's will be dark red, and the ordered list will go from upper Roman to upper alpha to decimal. I'll go ahead and click the download your PDF link now. And we see our brand new PDF. Notice that the headings are colored according to the CSS rules, and the class outline is structured also according to those rules. Now I'll go back to the second link, and this page creates a PDF from a page at a specific URL. Again, I get a link that says download your PDF. Under that, there's a link to the source page. Let's look at that first. Again, it's a PHP course, but in this case, it's out on the web. I'll close that and click the download your PDF link. And again, we have another brand new PDF. Now let's look back at the PDFs folder. Remember, it was empty before, and now there are two new PDF files. Magic. Very cool. Let's see how to get PHP to PDF. Just go to php2pdf.com and follow these three steps. The first step is to sign up to access the API. That's as easy as filling out this simple form. After you sign up, you'll get an API key. The second step is to download php to pdfphp I already have. You can see it here in my source files. As you can see, there is a spot to add your API key. Mine is blurred out. Then all you'll need to do is include the file in your PHP pages that create PDFs. And the third and final step is to call functions to generate PDFs. I'll show you the two I called to create PDFs from HTML and from a URL. First, let's look at how to create a PDF from HTML code. As you can see, the first step is to include or require php to pdf.php. Then you create your HTML. I showed you this already in the text area in the browser. We're just assigning that HTML code to a variable $myHTML. The next step is to set your PDF options array. For convenience, I created a couple of variables, dollar folder and dollar file name to use in my dollar PDF options array. Here we set five keys. Source type is HTML. Source as the dollar my HTML variable which holds the HTML code. Action set to save. Other options are download and view. Save directory as the directory in which to save the PDF. I've set this to the dollar folder variable created in line 314. And file name set to the name of the PDF file. Again, I've used a variable for this. Then the magic call to PHP to PDF, passing it the PDF options array. And that's all there is to creating a PDF. Below, I've created a link to the file so it's easy to view, and then a text area holding the HTML, just so I could show it to you in the browser. But again, you wouldn't normally do that. I'll show you this page again. Here it is, and here is the PDF that it created. 
The second example is similar. In this case though, there's no need to create a variable to hold the HTML. Instead, I created a dollar URL variable to hold the URL. Other than that, we have our dollar folder and dollar file name variables, and we have our PDF options array, which this time has the source type set to URL and the source set to the dollar URL variable. Everything else is the same. As before, we make the magic call the PHP to PDF, passing it the PDF options array. Below that, I just have links to the PDF file it created and to the source page. These are both optional. And that is the basics. There's more you can do with it though. Check out the facts, examples, and documentation at php2pdf.com to learn more. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.